What do you think would be the craziest shape you could imagine the asteroid being? <laughs> Hello space fans, I'm Katrina Jackson with the Office of Communications at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. Two years ago, in September of 2016, OSIRIS-REx launched. NASA's first mission to go collect a sample from an asteroid and return it to Earth. Now it's August of 2018 and OSIRIS-REx is finally approaching its target, asteroid Bennu. So I found a couple people who can explain what the spacecraft is doing during this approach phase and why it's so exciting to get to this point in the mission. What is the approach phase of the OSIRIS-REx mission? The approach phase is when we reach about two million kilometers from the asteroid Bennu. You know, we've been approaching Bennu ever since we launched, but once we reach this period where we're about two million kilometers away, that's when our cameras can start to pick up Bennu and see it as a single pixel in the image. So what will you be doing throughout this approach phase? Sure, so I'm part of the Flight Dynamics team, and that basically means I work with a team of highly skilled engineers from Kinetics Aerospace and Goddard Space Flight Center, and we're responsible for navigating the spacecraft. Um, during the approach phase, so we'll take those images, we'll process them, we'll figure out very precisely where Bennu is in those images, and we'll take that data and feed it into our software along with some tracking data from the DSN, range and Doppler measurements, and we'll figure out our best estimate of where the spacecraft is relative to the asteroid and also where the asteroid is relative to the rest of the solar system. And during this phase, will we be looking out for any sort of hazards around the asteroid, like little moons or dust? Yeah, absolutely. We have uh, specific science observation campaigns where they'll be looking for small uh, satellite possibilities or activity on the asteroid. We don't expect any of that, but we have to look out for it just in case. So, Lori, I, I know your background is planetary science. As a planetary scientist, how excited are you about the OSIRIS-REx mission and about bringing a sample of an asteroid back for the first time for NASA? This is incredibly exciting. Uh, the asteroids are the building blocks of the solar system. That's what built and made up our planets. They possibly carry the building blocks, the molecules um, that could lead to life. But even more than that, most of our missions, we send a satellite to go orbit a planet or maybe a lander to land on the surface, but they stay there and they do their science at that location. OSIRIS-REx is gonna grab a sample and bring it back to Earth. And that is really special and unique. Uh, we can not only analyze that sample today, but then we can save that sample and as our knowledge grows in the future and our laboratory capabilities grow in the future, we can go back and reanalyze that sample. It will be there for us to keep learning from. So Cyrus Rex launched two years ago in 2016. Yeah. It's finally starting the approach phase. Yeah. <laughs> How excited are you to get to this point in the mission? Oh, very exciting. Uh, like you said, it's it's we've been preparing for years for this, even before launch, and kind of planning and testing and working out what we're going to do when we get to the asteroid and kind of making assumptions of what the asteroid will look like and how it will be. And we have some pretty good ground-based estimates, but you know we won't know until we actually get there. And this is the first time we get to see it, and it's sort of starting the proximity operations phase. We'll be working in the vicinity of the asteroid for two years. What do you think would be the craziest shape you could imagine the asteroid being? <laughs> so right now it's it's fairly a benign shape. It's it's kind of uh, bulged in the center. But if you look at pictures of uh, uh, 67P Churyumov Gerasimenko, the comet, where it's mm -hmm. kind of a rubber duck, I don't think it's going to be that extreme. But you never know. I think probably the worst cases will be really maybe kind of stretched out more than we think, more top shaped than, than spherical. Why would that be worst case? So worst case for us, because <laughs> obviously eventually we have to go down to the surface and touch it. So if it's uh, regularly shaped or if it's kind of rotating or spinning in a complex way that we, it's, it's hard to characterize, you know, a nice spherical shape would be nice for designing trajectories down to the surface. Right. And if it's more uh, irregular, that'll be a little yeah. bit more challenging. It'd be nice if the asteroid is simple and yes. makes it easier for guys. It would, but <laughs> we can't, you know, as we like to say, you can't put requirements on the asteroid. So we'll have to kind of right. adapt our mission uh, to whatever it gives us. And I think we're ready. As Kenny said, the OSIRIS-REx team is definitely ready to start this exciting next phase of the mission. OSIRIS-REx will arrive at Bennu in December of this year, 2018, and then it will spend the next year and a half studying the asteroid. In July of 2020, OSIRIS-REx will collect a sample from the surface of Bennu, and then it will deliver that sample to Earth in 2023. 
So stay tuned over the next several months and years to learn about the spacecraft's progress in helping us unveil the mysteries of our solar system's formation.